I've been basically working night shifts. Uh, I'm a single father. I've got three kids. Uh, one of them is eight, ten, thirteen. Um, I used to have two jobs. During the day I worked at a minicab office. I was a controller, so I was on the radio with them. And in the evening I had uh, a car, my own car, so I did some minicabbing. I mean, life was pretty good. I was working 16 hours a day. The wife was looking after the kids. She was taking them to school. All of that kind of stuff was fantastic. She also had a little job in a nursery, so she was occupied as well. Then she basically, um, she left. It's not that she left me, she left me and, uh, and, and the kids, so I had to look for something else to do. And the best thing that I found was working at night uh, for cash in hand. I got paid every Friday, about like 150 quid, along with my benefits, it was, it was fine. I mean, the wife, she left me, and she left me with the kids, so now all of a sudden I've got three kids that I've got to look after. I couldn't carry on with the daytime job because I have to get them up, I've got to get them dressed for school, I've got to make them breakfast, and then I've got to drop them off at school. When I'm at home, I'm making the house ready, ready basically for when I've got to pick them up. I pick them up from school, I bring them home, I've got to feed them, wash them, clothe them, all of that, and then I've got to go to work. When I go to work, I'm working all night basically. I'm only earning about like 150 pound a week, plus my benefits, I just survive. I mean, if you ask me, could I survive on benefits alone? The answer is quite simply, no, I can't. I mean, I've, I've basically worked out that if I survived on benefits alone, with me and my three children, we'd only eat for three days. And for four days, that's it, we'd starve. Basically, don't think I haven't heard about it before, tax credits. So I've got myself a full-time job, I'm working legally. And then I've got these tax credits. But the thing you don't get about tax credits is tax credits are there to help with childcare. Now, what does that help mean? It still actually means that I've still got to find a lot more money myself, okay, to look after my kids. It doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. It's not going to leave me with enough money to feed my kids, let alone clothe my kids, basically. So I've got to go out. I've got to go work in the evenings. It's the only chance I've got. Listen, I want to work legally, don't get me wrong. I'll be happy. I don't like working illegally. It's not a comfortable position. But to be frank, that's all I can do. I'm going to get money for my kids, I'm going to feed my kids. You know, I'm interested in their welfare. I want to look after them. I want to give them the best that I can possibly give them. That's what I've got to do. If that means working illegally, I'm going to have to do it. I'm sorry about it. Well, I'm, uh, I'm married with a kid and I work as a cleaner. I've lived and worked here for eight years. My wife is uh, not able to work because basically my daughter is, is disabled, so my wife can't work because she's looking after her all the time. I declare less hours of work to the benefit office because otherwise I'd lose some of my benefits. I get paid £100 a week and that is what I declare. This means I'm still entitled to house and benefit and council tax benefit. But still, what with the extra needs of my daughter and seeing as my wife can't work, I just, I, I've got to do something. I sometimes do extra work, extra cleaning work, which I, 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 um, I don't declare because it's paid cash in hand. This gives me an extra 150 quid a week and uh, I've been doing it for about four years now. I worry about this situation because I might get caught, but I don't really think I've got no alternative because looking after my family and taking care of their needs, I have to continue doing that unless I win the lottery. I get paid £6 an hour for my on the cards work, but for the same work, cash in hand, I get £4 an hour. But it's cash, no tax. <laughs> when you're like in this situation as an ordinary person, sometimes you just have to work cash in hand. You, you don't really think twice as an ordinary geezer, you know, like thinking working cash in hand because 
If you ask needy people if they're going to do casual or informal work, of course they're going to do that because they have to survive. And they've got to look after their families, their little ones. As well as all that, I think sometimes people, when they start work, should be allowed to keep some of their benefits, especially housing benefit, because <laughs> rents are just so high. That's the way it is. That's the, that's the situation I'm in. I uh, left my formal full-time work because I became ill, but I'm well enough to work uh, part-time now. Um, I work cash in hand for a local community centre. They employ about six to eight people, so they can't really afford to employ anybody regularly. Um, I'm a single parent. Uh, my partner left when my eldest daughter was five. Um, I didn't really do very well at school but uh, I did go to catering college and I got a catering qualification. I trained as a chef. That was my uh, first full-time job. Um, I, uh, I worked as a chef for about eight years yeah, and, uh, and I was promoted to catering manager. But um, I found that it was quite uh, difficult when I was promoted and I got that job. Um, I found it very stressful because I'm dyslexic and uh, I found it hard to do the written work and the arithmetic that was involved with the ordering. Well, for the last few years I've been working um, with the under fives, the 60 plus, I've been a carer, I've done caretaking, wheelchair pushing. Um, I mean I wasn't specifically looking for cash in hand work, those are just the jobs that came along. Um, when I needed them to pay my bills and support my children, so... But, um, I mean, I feel that I pay back my social security benefit by doing the voluntary work that I do. Because, I mean, people that work nine to five, they can't do voluntary work, can they? So, it does fall on people like myself. I mean, I'm not well enough to do any more hours. So, you know, I'm going to continue to volunteer, I'm going to... I'm going to do cash in hand, and I'm going to claim my benefits. I, um, you know, I, it's, it's not as if I'm drinking it away or anything, or taking drugs or smoking. I do my voluntary work. I, I like to work with the elderly, and I like to go there because it keeps me up to date with things, you know, new ideas and what's going on. So, uh, I mean, anyway, the, the fact of the matter is that you can't really earn that much before they stop your benefits and if I could do a job like this full time I'd love to do it. I'm a single mother of two, uh, just started university. I've been out of work for five years now. Um, I've had various jobs in the past, um, care assistant, betting shop attendant, waitress. In the last two years, I've been working for Cash in Hand. I've been doing four afternoons a week at the local hairdressers. I ran into some money problems, serious money problems. I, I tried to start my own business and it all went wrong. And now I need to find the money to pay it back. I can't use my benefits because that's my family's lifeline. We're just about managing that as it is. And, and the, you know, I, I owe thousands of pounds. I mean, I owe a lot of money. But a good Samaritan, who I used to work for, offered me this cash in hand job. Um, the manager of the like, local hairdressers, she knows that I'm on benefits, but she's, you know, she's trying to help me out because I would have been in serious trouble if she hadn't. I do four. Uh, four hours, um, Tuesday to Friday. I get paid £100 on Friday and that goes direct to my debt. I know what I'm doing is benefit fraud, but I haven't got a choice. 
I've been threatened by the people I owe money to and I need to do something now before the situation gets out of hand. My family are being threatened if I don't pay up the money. I borrowed money for serious, urgent problems, but the lenders were loan sharks and it's not like going to a bank. I mean, most people that work for Cash in Hand have lots of problems and they all come at the same time. It's because you don't have a good education, you can't get a decent job. I mean, or you're a single mother with childcare issues like me, or you, you're in debt like me. It's very difficult to get out of a situation like that and find proper work. You feel trapped.